What's up folks, this is Jasper Fox making yet another YouTube video. Um, as you can see, I'm relaxing against the pillow, against the wall. Uh, okay, so this, uh, this is going to be a blog that I don't have a title on, obviously. Otherwise, you know, I'd have a, I'd have a card of some sort explaining what it is, I guess. <laughs> Um, this is actually going to be discussing some strange things I recently saw um, on uh, last week's night with John Oliver. It mentioned how uh, it mentioned several stories that uh, this news channel covered, K2 News. Uh, some of them were, eh. one of them I have heard of. That's one we're going to be discussing today. Another was uh, weird. And the last was uh, completely stupid. Uh, <clears throat> now, first we'll be covering the weird one. It's uh, Shock Yourself Happy. That's what the story was called. Uh, so, um, apparently the story behind this is that uh, there are these... Uh, so it's a bit warm here. Yeah. There's this thing, apparently that was made to... Uh, yeah. It's kind of like a little sweatband, except, or one of those little flashlight holders, except it's placed on your head and it's meant to electrocute you to uh, calm you down. Um, it's weird, and apparently it works for some people. Though most, of course, wouldn't give it a try. I mean, it helps relieve stress in a way, but then again, so do other things. <laughs> As interesting as that sounds, I'm not tempted to uh, place something around my head that electrocutes me to uh, to relax. I have my own ways. It's music and video games, and also movies, things I see on TV. And I mean TV shows, actual programs, fictional stuff, not the news, and certainly not documentaries, because those are kind of boring to me. Um, I'm going to try and talk about this for about five minutes. Um, so it works, it is planted, I think the electrodes are right here that zap you in the temples, which is not a place I want to get hit, because <laughs> of course it can kill you. But uh, like for people who, apparently they said for people who need it, it's a recommendation, for pe but for people who don't need it, uh, it's probably shouldn't. Which can actually seem terrifying in so many ways. Because, <clears throat> sure, it's like, if you think about like a medication, <clears throat> like, uh, it's almost like saying, if you have this kind of disease, this kind of medication works for you. If you don't have this kind of disease, stay away from this altogether. That's like what I heard about the uh, gluten free products. <clears throat> Apparently they're bad for people who aren't gluten-free, or do, who don't eat gluten-free, or something. I don't know if it's real, maybe. I'm not sure. But either way, it doesn't really scream good results to me. In fact, it actually worries me more that people are doing this. So imagine, what if something goes wrong? What if it zaps too hard? And also, I can't imagine electricity being a calming thing, except when it's used it for something like this, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> I mean, blogs, they aren't exactly calming, but mine is, mine pretty much aren't. And, uh, <clears throat> maybe my gameplays are calming, <laughs> I think. So, you know, I get frustrated whenever I fail. But again, like I said, I wouldn't attempt to zap myself or have someone zap me just for the sake of being relaxed um so i'm going to move on to the next topic this is a topic i heard about in the news before it's a uh, vampire treatment something like that um here's the thing they uh a lot of people they try many things to make themselves look younger um they uh they go through cosmetics, actors do this, women do this, 
people in general do this. I don't, because <laughs> one thing I don't use makeup clearly. Like if you've seen a close up on my face, you can see that I don't do anything to hide this. <laughs> and uh, some people use hair dye. I don't, because for what? Well, for one thing, I can't afford it, and for another, I never saw any point. Um, but here's the thing. Here's like here's what I saw when I first said about this. Apparently, people have a like it. It's a it's an injection that they have on their face. They uh, draw blood. I don't know if it's from them or from someone else. And then they inject it into your face. This isn't something I've researched. It's just something I heard of, so I might be wrong. The previous story I did research. This one. I did not. I just saw it once and I thought, Ooh, why? But the thing is, I believe, like, last I heard, it works. In fact, <laughs> well, must have, because K2 News has heard of it. <laughs> Something. I'm not saying that the news has always covered true things, because maybe it does work, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, don't care. Not going to do it, but it just makes me wonder why would you do that? Why would you have blood injected into your face. Last I saw it was right here. Like several injections were right here. So it was to make you look younger. To me I kind of look at it like uh, getting an injection in the eye to, uh, to change your eye colour. Which was an experiment conducted by Nazis back in World War II last I heard. To change people's appearances. Change their hair colour to blonde and their eye colour to blue to create the Aryan race. Uh, of course, I thought it was bullshit, and uh, or I didn't want to believe it. But either way, these people apparently they believed in the theories quite a bit because it was discussed on the news, and last I heard, it worked. <laughs> um. I don't know anyone personally who's encountered this, or such and so, rather. But, uh, you know, it's just weird. I don't understand it, pretty much. Because, uh, I don't find it. Like, like I said, there are other ways to make yourself younger, or, here's my advice don't do it, don't do it at all. If you want to, uh, change your appearance for a fancy occasion, fine. If you're being an actor, go for it. But if you're just doing this because you want to make yourself look better, don't. Some of these um, methods to make you look better, they can hurt you in a lot of ways. And not just the vampire treatments or such, I don't know the name, but other things as well, even like if you're just hiding behind makeup, then it's actually going to hurt you. It makes you feel insecure. If you use Botox, that's poison. It can kill you. I don't know if it's poison, but it's deadly. And you know, there also, there's also plastic surgery. Like, I remember, I think I discussed one time when I saw I'm a Living Doll. I'm a Living Doll. Such, I don't know. I don't know if I said it correctly. You know, D O L L. It's probably going to appear backwards. But, uh,. <clears throat> anyway, this guy had a whole bunch of plastic surgery done to him. He had a whole bunch of implants in him to make him look handsome. To make him look cool. Or something. But it was scary seeing him. Because he did it so much, he was practically like 50% plastic. It was frightening. And you know, some other people, they change their appearance so much, it's sad. You know. I say love your body love your body for what it is. If you're not happy with how you are, then well, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your body, clearly. I say do what you will. But you know, just make sure you can deal with the after effects. Because uh if I remember correctly, I think it's a day like a it's not a one-time thing. By the way, I'm doing this.
this to indicate, you know, rejection. Uh, sorry, my head's itchy, that's why I'm taking it with my hat several times. In fact, I'm just going to leave it off. Uh, so I'm just going to move on from that. Um, this last story, is, I mean, this last thing is a, a really stupid, stupid thing. Viagra for children. Congratulations, humanity, we've just gone down a level. Ugh. Now, I didn't do research on this because why? <laughs> it's stupid, there's no reason. Like, for those of you who don't know, Viagra is basically a pill that, uh, like for men, it gives you an erection. I don't know if women take Viagra. Maybe they do, maybe they do. Oh. But you know, some people call it a horny pill. So it, it gives you an erection. I heard of, I even heard of one that lasted several hours, even a day. But, uh,. You know, also, but, here, like, if you have impotence and you need to take Viagra, I'm not going to tell you to stop, I just want to be sure, I just want to tell you, make sure that, um, it's being handled for the entire time it's in effect. Um, but here's my problem with Viagra for children. The title, it literally says, Viagra, uh, Viagra for children. What? So, <laughs> this is also another thing. Sex, e sex education in the United States, last I heard, is uh, not doing so well in some places. And of course, in a lot of circumstances, there have been verbal um, abuse, through sexual content, and other stuff, but such as that. But uh, here's the thing. I also heard apparently that teen pregnancy has increased. And uh, with this Viagra for children, <laughs> it sounds like they're trying to increase that increase. You know what I mean? Because think about it this way. Like, say I told you that I had. Like, if you first have Viagra. Well, think about the name of them. Viagra for children. What comes to your mind? I'll tell you what comes to my mind. It's a pill that's meant primarily for children around, I don't know, 11 to 17. And it's meant to get them horny, as we all know. You know, get a snippy. But the thing is, why as a kid should you get that? Or why would you get that? And don't say it's for sexual reasons. Please, don't. If you want to take my advice, wait. <clears throat> because uh, having sex before you're married or having a sex while having sex while you're still a minor can ruin your life in many ways. Trust me. You don't have to take my word for it. You can take other people's words for it that have actually committed the act, and you can ask them. But you know, I just don't understand it. Why do people go to that length? No. All three of these things, they're unusual, true, and the question, like, they bring up question to me as to why would you do any of these things? Why would you shock yourself to calm yourself down instead of doing something else? Why would you get the vampire treatment instead of just accepting your body as it is? Why would you get Viagra for a child when you're still a damn child? <sighs> Sorry, I got a headache. I think I'm just going to stop now. Um, thank you for watching. I do hope you appreciated this video, maybe. Uh, you can like, you can comment, you can share this if you want. You can subscribe to my channel or search my channel to find more videos like this. And I'll get back to you with more gameplays, blogs, songs, things like that. I'm sorry that I talk about a lot of negative things on my channel. It's just a... I believe I said before that it was a way for me to vent on the issues. And I question, what the hell? You know, because I mentioned a whole bunch of unsavory things, unhappy things, negative things. I also mentioned some good things. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Uh, well, anyways, that's all I got. Thanks so much. This is Jasper Fox signing out.